Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Music Minutes from Music Play. We are an advice podcast to help you with your elementary music classroom lessons with tips and tricks from Denise Gagne and from our community of amazing teachers. Today, I'm your host, Carrie Lynn, and we are here looking into another community question to help out both the asker and anyone else who needs help with the recorder section on Music Play Online. Today's question comes from our community member, Caitlin. Caitlin is not only a member through our social media groups, but is also a subscriber to Music Play Online, our one-stop lesson shop for all things elementary music education. When you're first starting off on the site, it's kind of hard to get your bearings as to where to start. That's why Caitlin asks, I was wondering if you can let me know how best to use the recorder part on the Music Play Online website to teach recorders. I see there are two kits. Is it recommended to do kit one for grades three and four and kit two for five and six? At my school, the classroom teachers are teaching their own music and they are concerned about hitting the outcomes for instruments. I would like to steer them in the right direction through the use of music play. Thanks. Our community rallied together to help out Caitlin and here's what everyone had to say. Our own advice is to use kit one for grade four and kit two for grade five, both starting in January. We prefer not to start recorder in grade 3, unless it's a split 3-4 class. What they should be doing in the fall is a lot of rhythm review with the rhythm practice section. Practicing note names using interactive activities and pop quizzes is also really helpful. This helps get the kids singing and playing singing games. We reviewed some of these activities and many more in our previous podcast, Ready for Recorder. Carol writes in saying, I play the accompaniment audio and let the students play G as much as they can for the duration of just G, and so on. That way, they can just work on beautiful sound without concern for reading notes. They love it and it teaches improvisation for all levels of players. Ellie says that she began teaching recorder with the Recorder Resource Kit, the printed version of what's on Music Play Online. It has served her well, and although she's used many different books, she still prefers this one. She prefers the printed resources and consistently does the Mad Minutes with her students as soon as they enter. She's used the Recorder Resource student book for more than 10 years. And Denise adds on to that saying, using a combination of online and hands-on resources is best for the kids. I'd still use the Mad Minutes with them. That's how they develop instant recall of the letter names and become sight readers, not just rote players. Yolanda chimes in by saying, I offer the book for my students to purchase and practice at home. It is so awesome to have the music up on the board. There's much more teaching potential and kids are very engaged. I hope you enjoy the simplicity of having the music online. Finally, Charlotte tells us that I did a fun thing today. I took Denise's grade four game, Pass the Pumpkin, number 26 in grade four music play and made a jar full of rhythms. I taught all 12 rhythms first And then with the recorders in their hands, we said them, clapped them, and played them. Then we passed the jar, sang the song, and whoever it landed on took out a rhythm, identified which of the 12 rhythms it was, then said it, clapped it, and played it. The rest of the class echoed. Sometimes we played the rhythm as a triad, G, B, D, and sometimes in the pentatonic, G, C, F. This allowed me to cover hard-hitting concepts one after another. And the funny thing is, I didn't even plan it this way, it just evolved. These are still just a few creative ways to use the recorder resources from Music Play Online, but they do help as a starting point for your recorder players. If you have your own fun and educational way to help start kids on the recorder, you can always join our online community through our Facebook groups and other social media sites. That's all we have for today. Don't forget to tune in every Friday for a new Music Minutes from Music Play podcast. And don't forget to share the podcast with your fellow teachers. Have a great day.